to the Super Bowl. Let's talk a little Seahawks, man, because I know you are already excited at digging into the uh, the NFL season that's coming up. A lot of us, it's a baseball all star break, uh, NBA summer leagues going on, but you are uh, a neck neck deep in uh, in Seahawks already, right? Oh my goodness, this season is starting to become a little eerie. You know, I know I made some predictions earlier in the early months, but now as I'm getting more data, more information, you know, there's a little thing that's changing. I'm loving what's, what's brewing. And I'm not talking about the Rainier beer either, but I love what we're brewing over here. In I love Seattle. that too, though. This, <laughs> this team right now, they're so low key. And right now, the culture of change, the unity is there. I'm loving it. This is one of them quietest facets. They remind me of the first, Russell Wilson's first year. This team is set to cause havoc because everything is quiet. When it's quiet, that's a good thing right now. Russ got his money. He's happy. Hell, Russ is even setting cornrows like Quiet Letter, baby. Russ, I see your cornrows. <laughs> you change to number two is what he's going to do. He's going to get out there. Uh, so, Guru, we're uh, we're going to go position by position here uh, as we get closer to the season. And uh, let's start. Obviously, we know the man uh, be, uh, getting the ball is Russell Wilson. There's no need to talk about that. Let's talk about uh, some of the other offensive positions. Let's start talking about the running backs this year. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the Seattle running backs. Oh, my goodness. This is the the bread and butter of the Seahawks. As you all remember, with Brian Schutthammer as the OC, last year, the Seahawks was the number one rushing team in the NFL. Average about 160 yards rushing per game. And just to let you know, it was a three-headed monster, more like a two-headed monster last year. But I'm always going to add Russ for three. Yeah. So, but Russ, we, didn't Russ like, lead the team? Uh, you know, he did a couple years ago. He did lead the team, but we don't want that to happen. So we lost Mike Davis. He was part of our tag team. Um, obviously, Chris Carson, who is one of the most underrated running backs in the NFL. Chris Carson was number five in the NFL in yards rushing last year and also was tied for six as far as rushing TDs with nine. So I'm looking for Chris Carson to do to take over and destroy this season. This is a big year for him because I'm seeing uh, a lot of improvement. He was healthy. He had a whole entire offseason of um, being healthy. So for the first time, we're going to see a full, healthy Chris Carson full year round. And then uh, along with Chris Carson, I want to ask you about uh, about Rashad Penny, uh, who we uh, drafted drafted last year. Uh, He's going into his second year. What can we expect from this kid? Absolutely. Because of the emergence of Chris Carson, um, Rashad Penny was kind of put in the back burner a little bit, but he did do his thing. Out of 85 carries last year, he only had 85 rushing carries last year. But the thing I loved about this, he averaged 4.9 yards per carry. 4.9. Just to let you know, the average elite back, they average about 4.2. That's the elite level. So Chris, I mean, uh, Rashad Penny averaged 4.9. That's basically five yards every time he touched the ball. And you, are, you, are, you guys both know math. It takes two five yards to make a first down. So he, Chris, uh, so Rashad Penny can't. Hang on, hang on, times. hang on. That's more than a first down. Carry the four. Marco, he's right. It takes two five, two five yard plays to get a first down. It's uh, the, the math checks out. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to, oh. I had to get out the abacus, Guru. Uh, so that's a, I mean, that's great with those two there. And then, but the problem with the Seahawks is that they always seem to lose a guy somewhere around. So we've got more depth than 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 just Carson and Penny, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I know the injury. The two guys I'm going to talk about, they've been injury players the last few seasons. JD Matistic and also CJ Proside. They, I know they've been through a couple of injuries in the early part of their career, but I'm looking for exciting, especially for CJ. I'm assuming from what I'm hearing in, in renting, CJ is going to be doing a lot of receiving. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of CJ Proside as far as not running the ball, but being the slot receiver. So look into that. I've noticed that, and that's the, the, the buzz that's been coming out of renting. And J.D. Majestic, he's just going to be, you know, he's like the, the jack of all trade type of guy. So he's going to be more of the screen guy, more of the outside guy, more of the quicker guy. But going in, but we also drafted a rookie from Miami, Travis Homer. So he's going to be more, he reminds me more of the Mike Davis mode 
So going into this year, I'm looking at the Seahawks um, having carrying five running backs because of the depth and through the last couple of seasons of the injuries. So I'm looking for them to carry. Obviously, Chris Carson is our number one guy. Rashad Penny and Chris Carson, uh, that's going to be the one-two punch. And like I mentioned, PJ is going to be more of this slug receiver type. And um, the, the, the young guy, Travis Homer, he's just going to be getting some reps. So we're going to see what he's all about. All right, sounds like a, a promising backfield down there uh, for the Seahawks this year. A lot of uh, a lot of work to do to get into the season, even out of their own division with the uh, the the NFC champion uh, Rams looking to also repeat. But uh, but quiet assassins uh, down there in Renton. I'm not counting out the Seahawks this year. Oh, absolutely, man. Like I said, with Brian Schottenheimer, the Seahawks will still be a run led team. But obviously. Uh, with the depth they have with Chris Carson, more of the power back. Uh, with Rashad Penny, more of the versatility back. And like I mentioned, uh, um, um, CJ Prosize, more of the, the slow receiver sense. I think this, this offense as far as the league is going to be a little bit more dynamic than it was last year. All right, and with that, Guru, we are uh, uh, let you go. Uh, sorry we had a little bit of trouble getting to you, uh, but uh, we appreciate you uh, uh, taking your time and joining us on the show. Who are we going to talk about next week? Next week, we're going to talk about, obviously, the wide receivers. Everybody wants to talk about DJ Metcalf. Damn I right I do. About my man, I want to talk about my man Dougie Fresh leaving, so I'm going to pay some homage. So look forward to next week where we talk about receivers. Man, I look forward to those images. You see them on Twitter now of uh, of Russ throwing to Metcalf, and that just looks great. I'll tell you what, I, I could watch that all season and look forward to it all season long. All right, that is. Well, uh, I'm gonna show my age, show. I love watching Metcalf's dad. That's what I want to see. I love seeing Eric, man. I don't know about DK. See, <laughs> DK is almost as good as Eric. Man, we're gonna be having a lovely time in Seattle. <laughs> he lives up to his name. We got this on lock. All right, Guru, thank you for joining us here on The Watch. If you're looking for The Guru, you can find him on Instagram at Guru's Film Room. Guru's Film Room on Instagram. It's just his thoughts, just his thoughts. And, of course, every week with me on Trash Talk Radio, everywhere you can find podcasts at TrashTalkRadio.com. Guru, thanks for joining us, buddy. I appreciate it, fellas. You guys have a good night. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Guru. All right, Mark, who back just us here on the uh, the wash. Let's take a moment here and remind everybody that they can find the wash everywhere you can find podcasts. Uh, we are uh, available.